This is the biggest aquascape here on the Tropica Aquarium Plants booth. Jungle style, I'd say. Come over to see you guys soon. We've got some exciting plans, yeah? Yeah, it would be super exciting, so I'm yeah. looking forward to that. Me too, mate. Miss you guys. Do you want to be on my vlog? Uh, who doesn't, eh? Just keep an eye on all these tanks and let me know at the end what's your favourite scape. Three metres long, 40 centimetres high and wide, and it was actually rescaped completely about five weeks ago. So all of almost all of the scapes had to be rescaped. Long story short, um, most of the scapes were unrecoverable, so we had to to redo everything from scratch. And we may do a complete update video, uh, kind of explaining the whole situation uh, another time. But just check out these beautiful rainbow shiners. I'm just going to get a close up. There we are. Absolutely beautiful fish, native to North America. Come from quite cool waters usually, fast flowing shallow streams. Uh, absolutely stunning fish. So we've got a carpet here of Eleocaris mini. We've got a new moss here, Lipodictium. We've got uh, Lobelia cardinalis mini there. Anubius mini coin there. This is my favourite at the moment. And then we have some Bucophilandra kedikang. Moving over to the back there, you can see Aereo Kaolan, uh, Vietnam. A very, very basic aquascape. Three kind of individual islands. But all of the aquascapes here on the Tropica Aquarium Plants booth are designed to showcase the actual aquarium plants and not necessarily the skills of the aquascaper. So I think we've executed on that really well. All beautiful, healthy plants, no nuisance algae, nice clear water and a great way to showcase uh, what we do here at Interzoo. You know, this is really a celebration of, you know, our products, our aquarium plants and our plant care, of course, and showcasing them to our customers. So let's move on over to the easy category scape here. All easy plants, of course, uh, 45 tubes running on these at the moment. No CO2, but we have added carbonated water every morning to give the plants enough carbon for the, for the day. So we, have, we do have filters running on there as well. It's like a back filter built into the background. And yeah, let's have a look at these plants, shall we? Staragyne repens there in the foreground with some, I think that's just regular Java moss, Cryptocorini, um, Becketii, Staragyne again. And we've got some beautiful Ludwigia Rubens. Ludwigia Reapens Rubin, I think it's called. I always get this one confused. And then the classic Amazon sword in the back, Echinodorus Bleri, and then good old Java fern, Microsorum Terrapus. But again, you know, not a very complex aquascape, but a very beautiful planted aquarium. Have a look at this medium. This is uh, jungle style, I'd say. Started off with two kind of islands with a a valley running through but it's kind of become a bit of an overgrown uh, mess really but I wouldn't say mess like a chaotic kind of a bit of a theme to it but not not a overly manicured escape shall we say but I really like it I'm a massive fan of healthy planted tanks dense plants no nuisance algae and what's not to love these beautiful lilies nymphia lotus Beautiful tropical lily from West Africa. Got some uh, Limnophila hipparoides here, trident fern, Hygrophila pinnatifida as an epiphyte there, a full carpet of the Hydrocotyl tripartita, and then uh, the stem plant here. This is Muriophyllum guyana, and then we have an Aponogeton. Uh, I'm not sure what species that is. Let me know in the comments if you know what species. Okay, moving on over to the advanced category. This is a very, as you can see, simple Iwagumi, solid carpet there of the Glossostigma. And then we have this beautiful red stem plant of the Rotala Wallachii. I think we had some die off there, unfortunately, of the Aero Kaolon. Some fresh plants down there. But, you know, classic Iwagumi designed to showcase the plants, of course. 
Okay, moving on over to the Cuba tank. So these features, plants all featured in this scape here, and all of these were actually discovered by Holger Windelov on his trip to Cuba. So in keeping with that theme, we've got some Cuban rum, some Cuban cigars, of course, no uh, smoking uh, in Tazoo. <laughs> Just a, a lovely way to show the three plants discovered by the founder of Tropica, <coughs> Charterhouse Aquatics. Hello. Do you want to be on my vlog? Oh, who doesn't, eh? <laughs> How's it going? Sorry, apologies if this vlog isn't so uh, coherent. Um, moving on to the 80 to 90 tank. I really like this scape, very conceptual and basic, but Liliopsis brasiliensis. Really healthy, really lush, just like a grass lawn. And the Echinodorus martii. And check out that curling. It looks beautiful, isn't it? It's got zebra danios in most of these displays. Okay, here we have the 90 to 2000 featuring mainly the Microsaur and Windelov, uh, uh, named after Tropica's founder, Holger Windelov. Here we have the Hygrophila Compact, and then in the background, uh, Spallus Neria Spiralis Tiger. So again, very simple layout, just designed to showcase the plants, which I can do. Now, this is my favorite of the uh, Decade Tanks. And this is 2000, 2010. I really love this full carpet of the uh, Pagostum and Alferi Anubius Petite. And then uh, we have some, I think that's spiky moss. And then some small portions of Staragyne and a big bush of Staragyne at the back. But the whole kind of conceptual triangular layout, I think looks really effective. Finally, we have the 2010 to 20 decade tank featuring this stunning Ludwigia palustris there in the background. Really nice contrast with the zebra danios. And then really magnificent mix of japonica. Now, interestingly, it's actually taken on more of this uh, reddish coloration during the show. So this is the third day uh, that the, the plants have been lit and you can actually see that red. But let's give you an overall impression of the stand from kind of a wide angle. So great to see the guys here. Actually, um, funny story. I think I think I first met these guys at Green Aqua in 2010. Is that right? It's just 12 years ago. 12 yeah. years. Yeah, it's insane. Running fast. Yeah, man. 